Hi. Um, it's Friday. Is it Friday for you? Do you just have like a Friday? Do you have weekends off? I don't know. The dog is ready. Oh my gosh, Edie, I missed you on Wednesday. The dog is right in his spot. You don't even know what goes on before we start the camera. He just circles around, poking his head everywhere he doesn't need to be. Hi, Lori. Sticks his head in my water glass. It's just, it's a circus. And I don't know why. He's not here until we start to get ready. So he must love it. Hi, Steve. Um, so it's it's Friday. We're going to do um, our bar-ish boot camp, which means um, if you're new to this, I'll just go over a couple things. Um, you just need, um, you just need, oh good, at least you did it easy. Um, you just need enough room to move around. If you have a mat, that's great because it sort of gives you a canvas of where you're going to work. I work barefoot. You don't have to, but you could wear, um, you could wear shoes, but I don't recommend socks because you'll slide a little bit. You do not need one of these. He is not for working out. Although look at the skills perking up. He knows he's getting a treat to get off the mat. Um, I use a body bar, which is this thing right here. It's a weighted bar that has it's covered in neoprene. Um, I use a 12 pound. It's by a company called The Body Bar. You don't have to have it, but it is. It's nice to have. Um, you can also just use. Oh, good. He's done. Um, you can also just use a pair of dumbbells or two um, of the same size water bottles. Hi, Michelle. Hey, guy. Um, so whatever you want to use for that. Um, if you like to use your bar for balance, we are going to do several um, sets today that involve balance. You can also use a broomstick, whatever you have, or nothing. You can put a chair next to and use the back of that for, for balance. It'll, it'll work. Everything will work. So um, thank you to everybody who's been able to make a donation. I appreciate it. If you're not in a position to, do not worry about it. I'm just happy to have you here doing this with me. Um, um, I gave an update about the YouTube situation. Um, hi, the moonness. I'm not sure who you are, but welcome. So, um, if you have uh, about the YouTube situation, I wanted to hop over there because I think the playback and interface is better for you guys. But in order to do that, I have to have a certain amount of subscribers. So I put the link to my YouTube channel in my bio in my Instagram page. So if you could hop on there and subscribe, that would help us at some point be able to hop over there because I can't go live without enough subscribers. And Guy, thank you for subscribing. You were like the first one, so yay. Um, so there's that. Um, we're gonna do, oh, hi, Vanessa. Nice to have you in our class. Um, so, okay, so the breakdown is we're gonna do a warm-up that has a lot of upper body stabilization built right into the warm-up. You don't have to do every single level. I'll always give you an option to put your knees down. Uh, thank you, Edie. Oh, yay, thanks, Michelle. Um, and then from there, we'll do a, a set with strength and balance using the body bar or dumbbells or whatever works for you. And then we'll get rid of that and we'll do a set of intervals that will get your heart rate up. Um, and then from there, we'll just do a, a core and stretch. I made it sound like it was really easy. So I teach everything in levels. Always give you a first, second, third level, so you always have an option. If you have an injury that you're working through, stay with the first or second level. If you've seen a doctor for an injury, make sure you're cleared to do all of this so that you don't hurt yourself. And um, the after party today is going to be um, dumbbells. I'm going to do some core and some upper body. And then if you have a towel close by, which I hope you do, we're going to use this in our abs section today. So there you go. Have some water nearby. You know my water is in my goblet because I'm fancy. Not to worry, it's not glass, it's plastic because I'm super fancy. It has not been um, consumed by a dog. All right, so let's take the front edge or sort of the front-ish of whatever space you're working in. Feet are under your hips, hips under your shoulders, shoulders down and back. Bring your arms up. Press your shoulders down. From here, just step out so your toes are facing the corners of the room. I'm gonna make a little adjustment on my music. You guys stay right here. All right, so from here, shoulders are down. You'll sink your hips. So your hips are still underneath your shoulders. Shoulders down, so you feel like you're trying to squeeze something into your armpit. From here, lace your fingers, press your palms up to the ceiling. Still taking your shoulders down away from your ears. 
Try to lean over towards your right side without changing your low body. And back to the center. And over to your left. Breathing in and out. And back to the center. From here, try to lift your heels up. Then straighten your legs. Try to hold right here, breathing in and out. Then bend both knees. Lower your heels. Come up, take your toes to the front. Hands down right at your hips. Fold here at the hips. Just opening up your hamstrings a little bit and come right back up. Now bend your knees, hands on your legs right here. So try to avoid this and round your back. Up for two, release for two. So you round your back for two, release. Again, round your back, release. Again, this time come all the way up. Palms together, sink your hips. Take your right fingertips towards the floor, left fingertips up. Now the temptation is gonna be to do this. So try not to, try to keep both knees bent. Come back up, palms together, sink your hips. Left fingertips down, right fingertips up. Are your knees bent the same amount? They should be, your toes can wiggle and come up. Two counts to get there, so sink and rotate, reach back up. Again, sink one, two, and up. One more slowly, one, two, single counts here. So squat and rotate and reach. Again, once more, palms together, feet back underneath your hips, both arms up. This time, forward fold, either grab your elbows here, or let your fingertips fall to the floor. Whichever is better for you. Try to straighten your left leg and bend your right knee. Keeping your weight in the middle of your feet so your toes can wiggle here. Change sides. Straighten your right leg, bend your left. Sitting into your right hip. And then bend both knees. Lift your tailbone up. Let your head hang as you unroll at the top. Shoulders down and back, both arms come up. Forward fold, tailbone lifts, unroll. Three, two, we'll do it again. Both arms come up. Forward fold, unroll. This time on your forward fold, you're gonna bend both knees far enough to get your hands to the floor. Then step back to a downward facing dog. If you're new to this, it just looks like an upside down V. Your tailbone lifts up. Your heels press to the floor. Palms press into the floor. Pressing your chest through your shoulders. Both heels lift up and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Let's do four more like that. So four, press. Three. Once more. Then hold your down dog and lower your hips to plank. Anytime we come to plank, feel free to put your knees on the floor. From either plank, come back up to a down dog. Two counts to plank. Lower your hips and back up. So anytime we come down, your knees can touch the floor. Just try and keep your shoulders out of your ears. Let's go twice more. Lower for two and lift. Once more. This time, hold your down dog. Shift over to your right hand and foot. Take your left leg up until you feel the stretch behind your right leg. Now you can stay right here or take a bend in your left knee and open your left hip. If you took the bend in rotation, straighten back out to a down dog split. Now you can stay here or you can lower your hips to plank and bring your knee into your right elbow. Then over to your left elbow, then back up. So remember, you can always stay here in this position or come with me, lower down, take the knee to the right elbow and left and back up. Let's do it again. Lower to the right, left and hold here. Then everybody comes back to a down dog, pressing your chest through your shoulders. Shift your weight to your left hand and foot and bring your right leg up until you feel the stretch behind your left leg. You can stay here or bend your right knee and open your right hip. If you took the bend in rotation,
come back to the down dog in the center, square it off. Remembering you can stay right here or lower your hips. Bring your knee into your left elbow, right elbow, back up. So that's it, you can do that or stay here. Here we go, lower to the elbow, to the right elbow, back up. If you're lowering, come with me one more time. Lower, left elbow, right, back up. Then both feet to the floor, down dog here. Then lower your hips to plank. You can be on your knees here. Either way, try to bring your right leg up next to your right hand. You should be able to wiggle your toes here. If you're too far forward, you won't be able to. So wait in the middle of your right foot. Maybe you touch your knee. Maybe you reach up to the ceiling. Both hands to the floor, engage your core. Step back to plank. Let's rehearse it on the left. Step forward, the first one's always a little brutal. Check your toes. Maybe you're touching your knee. Maybe your back knee's on the floor. Maybe you reach. So any combination of those will work. Either way, both hands to the floor, step back. Up tempo here, step forward, reach or touch your knees. Remembering, this is not a race. You can always go slower than this. No pressure. Going at a pace that works for you. Just trying to get some heat going in your body so when we start moving, it's not a shock. This time, hold any plank. If your knees are still up, go put them down now. Release your feet, hips to your heels, child's pose here, pressing your chest through your shoulders, palms pressing into the mat. Round up, find a modified plank. So your knees are on the floor this time for everybody. Shoulders away from your ears, hands under your shoulders. Maybe you bend your elbows a little bit, or a little more, or a little more. You pick your level. Either way, straighten your elbows, hips to your heels. So those are the pieces. We'll put it together. Round up to modified plank and hold here or bend here. Straighten back to child's pose. Let's make it flow. Round up, hold or bend. You decide. You can hold here or bend here. Up to you. Just find a level that gives you a challenge and that's how you'll get stronger. Round up, hold or bend. This next pass, come to modified plank, hold here. Tuck your toes, push against the floor, find your down dog. Then bring your knees back down, release your feet, hips to the heels. Child's pose, let's make it flow here. Round up for two, push down and lower your knees. Child's pose again. So when you come up, squeeze underneath your armpit, then push against the mat. Bring your knees down and child's pose again. Round up for two, push down for two and lower. This time modified plank and hold. Tuck your toes. Try to lift your knees, right hand to the middle and rotate to a side plank. Feel free to put your right knee on the floor, right hand underneath your right shoulder. Top arm reaches over towards me. And up, just once more like that. Over towards me, and up. Come back to the center. Find any plank, maybe you're on your knees. Left hand to the middle, and rotate over. Finding your side plank. Maybe your left knee is on the floor. Either way, top arm reaches over towards your screen, and up, do that once more. And come back to the center. Whether you're on your knees or not, try to come down to your forearms and hold here. So your elbows are underneath your shoulders. Maybe your knees are on the floor. If they're not on the floor, you can dip your left hip and center and right. So if your knees are on the floor, your next progression is going to be to pick them up. Once you have your plank without your knees, you can try the hip dip. Let's do four more. So four. Three, pushing down through your elbows. Once more, hold your plank, lower your knees, come up to your hands. Child pose one last time. Round up, tuck your toes, push down, 
to down dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands. In a forward fold, let your head hang. Lift your tailbone up. Slowly unroll your back. One bone at a time. At the top. Ooh, should be nice and warm. If you need some water, grab it now. I'm gonna grab a towel. I have multiple towels because I foresee myself getting quite sweaty. Okay. So, you're gonna grab whatever resistance you're using. Overhand grip, whether it's water bottles, dumbbells, body bar, broomstick, whatever. So feet are hip distance apart, toes face me. Knees are straight but not locked. Shoulders down and back, sink your hips. For two, push down, squeeze your glutes at the top. One, two, single count squat. You wanna think of the floor as your own personal leg press. So you're pushing the floor away after you squat. So you sink, press it away. Try not to lock your knees. One more time at the top. Lower your elbows right here. Press your bar or dumbbells up to where the wall meets the ceiling in front of you. So your knees are still not locked, elbows not locked. Bring it down, one of each, squat, lower the elbows, diagonal press, again. So squat, lower the elbows. I'm a little sore today. Yesterday afternoon, I took my child out on a kayak for the first time in her life. Make it flow. So squat, press, push against the floor. Maybe your left knee comes up at the top and change size. Press. I thought it was gonna be a, a much bigger disaster than it was. Four to go, so four. Press, three, two more. Then just the squat. Squat down, squeeze. Make sure you have room on the sides of you. We're gonna make it move. Left leg, slow motion. Squat for two. Come up, other side to the right. Squat for two. Let's do it again. Step left, press against the floor. Over to the right. Single counts here. Sink, press. Two more. Then triple pulse down. So it's three, two, one. Other way, three, two, that pulse is gonna travel on the next pass, right here. Travels to the back and side, together, left side. Side, back, side, push down. Side, back, side, again. Side, back, side. Breathing in and out, twice more. Once over here, last time. Just the squat here and sink, squeeze. Yes, I thought, I thought she was gonna hate it, but I wanted to get her outside. Turns out, she's not bad at it. I let her be the leader. Let's do one squat, one press here. Squat, lower the elbows, diagonal press. Squat, lower, two more like that. Squat, lower the elbows, last time. And then make it flow, squat to press, squat, press, squat. Two more, maybe your left knee comes up at the top. We have four, press, three, last two, and then just the squat here. I almost forgot how to count. Sink, squeeze your glutes. All right, so as we squat, if you're using a bar, you're gonna flip your grip one at a time to underhand. If you're using dumbbells, keep them where they are. On a bar, roll it up, lace your fingers. If you're using dumbbells, take them across your chest. Stay in your grip. Either way, take your feet out to the side, toes to the corner, sink, press. So you're going straight down, straight up, pushing your feet down into the floor. Four to go, so four. Press down, three, two more, then hold it down, Little pulses here. So as you pulse, shoulders down the back. Toes can wiggle, four, three, two. Hold your pulse, heels lift. Try to extend your legs, lower your heels, sink your hips, heels up. Now slightly faster here. Sink, press up, sink, again. 
there were times as we were paddling that she just got tired. So I paddled us just for a couple hours, that's all. Now just the hip sink two times. Once more, both heels up. Press your toes down. Once more, one of each. Sink your hips, heels lift. Do it again, sink your hips, heels lift. Slightly faster here. So sink, press, sink, press two more. And then up tempo from here. Sink, press, work through your feet. Four to go, so four, three, two, and hold at the top, hold it. Sink your hips. Little pulses just for four, three, two, hold here, lower your heels. Bring your heels in, but keep your toes to the corners. Just sink, press down, sink, press down. So you'll feel this right in the middle of the inner thigh, way up at the top. Squeeze it up. This time, hold it down, hold, heels lift, extend, and lower again, sink, press. Now up tempo from here. It's exactly the same thing we did with our feet wider apart, but now we get in to the top of the muscle on the inside of your leg. You're welcome. Two more, sink, press up. Sink, just the hip sink here once more. Turn your feet parallel and squat. Should feel different. All right, so if you're using dumbbells, go across your chest. One more, left leg steps back one time. Step back to parallel right leg. Again, this is your pattern. You can keep it here, first level. Feel free to lower your hips, sink down, press up. Sink down, again, so sink, press, sink. Again, one more. Now triple pulse down, pulse in three, two, one, push down to come up in three, two, again, same thing, it's in three, two, one, again, in three, two, all singles here, sink, press, sink, two more, and then feet parallel, squat right here. So as it turns out, I didn't realize it had been like years since I've been in a kayak. So needless to say, all in here is just baked on me today. All right, so this next set is gonna involve a lot of balance. If you're using any kind of a bar or a broomstick, feel free at any point to take it perpendicular to the floor. We'll start on our, on our yes, your left leg. Left leg steps back, slow motion, lunge for two, the back heel stays up, lift it up. Lunge down for two, and up, that's the first part. This time you'll hold your leg up, flex your left foot, heel towards the hip, and extend, find your lunge. So one, two, lift up, flex your foot, heel to the hip, let's try that single count here. So lunge, lift, curl, extend, lunge, lift, curl, extend, that's all it is. If you need to bring your bar perpendicular to the floor, it looks like this, again. So lunge, lift, curl, or just keep it here. If you're using dumbbells, you can't put that on the floor, but you could pull a chair back over or grab a broomstick. Again, same thing. So lunge, lift, flex, and curl. Again, this time hold it up and curl only. So curl, extend, curl, you're welcome. One more, hold your curl. Take your knee to the side and pulse. So you're pushing your left hip towards me, shoulders level, knee out to the side. Let's do four, three, two, slow motion, bend your standing leg, your heels meet. You come right back up to your start. Heels meet for two, single count here, bend, lift, bend, again. Breathe all the way in and out, two more. Now hold your leg up, four pulses. Just four, three, two, shake it out. Ah, oh, how's your right booty? Feet parallel, squats. Whew, feel lopsided, huh? All right, not to worry. You know I'm gonna make you do both sides. But now you know what's coming. Try to process that. Breathe all the way through. Before we start, feet wide, toes to the corner, a little sorbet. So that you can use this, because we don't really use that 
but we're about to do two more. Back to a parallel squat. All right, right leg steps back slowly. Find your lunge for two, lift your back leg up. Find your lunge for two, lift it up. This time, you're gonna hold your leg up, flex your foot. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see me. And extend slow motion lunge. One, two, lift and flex your foot. Bring heel to the hip. Let's go in single counts here. So lunge, lift, flex and curl again. Lunge, lift, flex and curl. Try not to think about all the things we have to do here. Just breathe, balance, belly button in again. So lunge, lift, flex, and curl. Lunge, this time, hold it just the curls and curl in, extend, curl, extend. Whoo, it's hard to breathe. Four to go right here, so four, extend. I mean breathe and talk, of course. One more, hold your curl, hold it, knee to the side and pulse. Pulse, chest up, belly button in. Can you wiggle your big left toe? Hold your pulse, bend your standing leg for two. Come back up to your start. Bend for two, single counts here. So bend, lift, bend, push into the floor to come up. Whoo, hold it up. Four pulses here, just four. Three, two, and shake it out. That part is done, and squats. Whew. All right, before we lose the resistance, we'll do one more set with your toes out to the corners. Sink, press. Again, sink, press back to parallel. Now, if you're using dumbbells, you're just gonna take them down by your side. If you're using a bar, unlace your fingers, unroll your bar, flip your grip, one hand at a time, then whatever resistance you have in your hands is gonna find the floor. Palms together, squeeze your glutes at the top. This is an awesome time to grab a sip of whatever you brought to the party, maybe towel off, which I'm gonna do as a squat, squeeze. So you can still do those things while you're moving. You don't have to, but sometimes it helps not to kill your momentum. Again, so sink, squeeze, sink, squeeze. Alrighty, so this is gonna be our base position. You can always come back here if things get too crazy for you. Touch your knees, knuckles up, sink, knuckles up, sink, Knuckles up, easy enough. Maybe you lift your heels at the top, sink, press, sink, press down to come up. We'll do four more just like that. So four, press, three, two more. This time, hold the top, whether your heels are up or down, try to hold your balance, extend through your fingertips, palms together at the chest, find your chair squat here, Lower your heels, check it out. Rotate to your left. Try not to do this. Remember we talked about the warm up? Come back up. Try it, squat the other way. Try to keep your thumbs in the middle of your chest. Come up, just squat. So when we do that rotation, you're gonna try not to let this happen. You don't want your hands to come away from your chest. Slow motion, rotate left. Rotate knees bent and up. Other way and just the squat in the center. So that's the upper body plan. It'll start this side first on your left. Slow motion, rotate. Maybe you step back and center. Try it the other way. Rotate, step back, and single counts here. So rotate, up, rotate, up, rotate. Once more, parallel squat, touch your knees. So we're gonna alternate between this move and the rotation. However, we're gonna do two different sets of the rotation, palms together, right here, just squat. So we'll go slow motion, and so instead of keeping the thumbs here, check it out, rotate and reach back. When you get here, extend your arms up and down, come back to the center, squat, other side, slow motion. Rotate, extend the arms, Come back to the center, squats only. 
So that's going to be the first time we do step backs. You'll aim to keep your thumbs here. Second set, you'll do an open. So those are going to be our intervals. Don't worry, I'm doing every single one with you. Here we go. Thumbs to the chest, rotate. Step back. Up. Other way. Twice more. Now parallel squat. Touch your knees. Knuckles up. Two more. This set, we're going to try to reach up and down right here. Rotate. Up. Rotate. Reach. One more. Parallel squat. Touch your knees. Maybe you're opting to lift your heels to the top. You don't have to, but you can. This set, keep your thumbs at your chest. So rotate. Here. Thumbs at your chest. One more. Parallel squat. Touch your knees. Knuckles up. Maybe your heels lift. You decide. One more. This time you reach up and down for four. Together. Three. Together. Two. Parallel squat. Touch your knees. We're doing one more of each set. Here we go. Thumbs stay to your chest. Step back and rotate. Three. Oh, fell over. Two. Parallel squat. Right here. For four. Three. Two, this time, reach up and down, rotate. Four, three, two, parallel squat. Maybe you lift the heels at the top. Two, three, once more. Hold the last position. Breathe in and out. Find your chair. Palms together. Thumbs at your chest. Lower your heels, wiggle your toes. Push down, squeeze your glutes, and single count squats. So again, you can always come back here. Feet wide, but toes towards me. So toes towards me, sink, squeeze. That squeeze is in your booty. So I haven't made the disclaimer in a while, but if you're new to this, and me, not to worry, your butt is not gonna get this big compared to the rest of your body. That is just something that I was gifted in my DNA. And when I say gifted, I just mean it's a lot of money in tailoring. A lot. Here we go. This time, hands to the floor. Left leg reaches back. Come back to wide. Roll up. Squats right here. We'll try slow motion on the other side. One more squat. Hands down. Right leg reaches back. Find your runner's lunge, just like we did in the warm-up. Wide, roll up. Squats right here. So you have an option on that runner's lunge to reach up the way we did in the last interval. Slow motion, left leg goes back. Maybe you reach, come back to wide, roll up. Try it on the other side. Hands down, step back, reach. Back to wide, roll up. Up tempo right here. So sink, reach. One, up, right leg goes back. Reach or not. Again, remember to push against the floor here. Push down to come up. So that way, you're not using just your back. In fact, you want to be using your legs right here. Push down right there. So reach up. Again, reach back. A lot more. So reach, how's that for big? Reach back. Two more to go. Reach. Last one. Wide squat here. Sink. Squeeze. Sink. Squeeze. You guys stay in your squat. I have so much sweat running off of me. It's driving me nuts. All right. So this squat can be your base position. You can always work here. Otherwise, step in and step back wide. Step in and out. In, out. Maybe that becomes a jump. Jump, out, in, out. If you're taking a little jump, maybe you sink. Step, out, step, or jump. Arms in, V, in, V. So eight, seven, Six, 
four to go. Remember, you can always step and out. One more, hold your squat on pulse. So pulse right here. In four, three, and come up. Left leg out to the center, out. One more, add your arms, going out, up. Once more, right side, just the foot. You do a little pivot on your heel. Maybe your arms, get in the mix. So out. Two more. Now center, pull straight down. So your arms, extend, pull, then you crunch, extend, crunch, again, crunch. Two more. Here we go, left side. Open up, your knee can bend, straight. Bend, straight. One more. Center, pull straight down. Four, three, two. Right side, open up. Maybe you bend, bend, rotate. One more. Center, pull straight down. Four, three, two. Right side for just two. One more. And center, pull down. One more. Over to your right. So one more. Center, pull down twice. All right, we know it. Let's do singles to your left. Center, pull down. To your right. Center, pull down. One more set of singles. Center. And out and just the squat here. So what we're gonna do is put all that together. The step out, or jump in and out, pulse, then the rotate, and the crunch. Yes. Keep your squat. Can't hear my downbeat. Sink. Squeeze your glutes. You're ready? Step or hop. Eight times and. In, out, or in and out. Sink, sink. Four to go. So four, three, two, and hold pulses here for eight, seven. Can you wiggle your toes? For four, three, come up, rotate once to your left and crunch. To your right and crunch. One more each way and crunch. To your right. Last set of these, to your left, crunch. And then, just the squat here, we're doing all that again. This is just to breathe, hold, hold it. Take your arms up to a V. Try to shift your weight to the front of your foot. Try to lift your heels. Make a fist, extend, make a fist, extend. Two more. Hold your hands in the fist. Lower your heels if they were up. Come up. Feet parallel. Squats right here. Are you ready? Jump or step in, out. So together and out. Or step and out. In, sink. Four to go. Four. Breathe anywhere. Two. And hold your palms here. Pulse. Two. Three, four more till we move to the sides. Four, three, two. Left side, open, crunch down. To your right, crunch, and left. Crunch down, to the right. One more set of side and middle. To your right, and hold it here. Find your squat. Try to lift your heels. Woo. Make a fist. Extend. Make a fist. Extend. Two more. Hold your hands to the fist. Hold it. Lower your heels. Come up. Shake it out. Parallel squat. You want to make sure you have room in front of you. So if you need to, take a step back. You just need enough room in front to take a step with your left right here. So step on your right. This is your foot pattern. We did this in the first part 
or we step back with the bar. It's gonna feel different to your brain. If you haven't done this with me before, this is for you. You're gonna turn to the corner, to the corner. Now, when you try to pivot back, get out of your weight in your back heel. Because if it's in your toe, you're gonna torque your knee. You don't want that. So you sink your hips and rotate. Sink, press, rotate on your heel. Easy enough. You can just do this. If this is enough for you, or you feel you need to work on this pivot, you can work right here. If you're ready, reach up behind you guys. Reach up, not down. Reach up behind you here. Four more at either level. Three, two, parallel squat. Keep that in your head. That's the first part of the interval. Second part, left leg steps out one time. And over to your right. Now that step and hip sink. Arms up. Sink. Press. Remember, you don't have to do the arms. It's an option. Left arm circles around. Back up. Circle around. Back up. One more. Parallel squat. So those are your two pieces. Your four of each. So four steps forward, four steps out. This would be the universal sign for step out again. <laughs> two more. Are you ready? Left leg steps forward, reach up, maybe four. Push down. Three. Push down. Two. Step out to your left. Arms up. Release. Up. Two more. Step forward on your left right here. Reach up. Maybe both arms lift. Reach. Lift. Step out on your left. Sink. Release. Two more. Let's do it again. Left side steps forward. Reach. Up. Two more. Step out on your left. Sink and release. Two more. Hold it center, both arms up. Try to lift your heels. Arms up to the side. Palms together. Hold here or rotate right for two. Center over to the left. Woo! Center, thumbs out your chest. Find your chair squat. Lower your heels, wiggle your toes, come up. Arms stay here, squats here. We're gonna finish with our full twins today. So remember, bring your palms together. This can be where you hang out. If it's all too crazy for you, next, for the next level, the arms up. That works your back. From here, next level, slow forward fold. Reach up behind you, come up, squat twice. One more squat. Fold slowly here. Reach up. Squat twice. Most of you know this. Slightly faster here. Fold. Up. Squat once. Again. Remember, if this fold is just bonkers for you, don't do it. Do only squats. If you're in the fold, maybe your heels lift up. And squat. If your heels are lifting, maybe get crazy and get some air. Push down through your heel lift and squat. Again, fold. Two more, bend your level. Up. One more. Hold your squat, hold. You'll make a fist here. Extend, can you wiggle your toes? Two more. Hold your hands to the fist, hold it. Press down, be wide. Toes to the corners, sink, press, palms together. Push, feel good just to bring your arms down. We have one last thing to do before we go to the floor. I'm out of breath. That Kai thing took it out of me. My upper body was not prepared for two hours of this. Alrighty, if you're ready, arms up and out together. This will be a quick one. I just mean quick, not that we're gonna move fast, but it's not gonna be a long interval. Two more. Now triple pulse down. You have three, two, one, together and out. Most of you know that, three, two, 
one, together and out. The together and out can look like this. By pushing down into the floor. Again, in three, two, one. Yes, we are, Edie. Three, two, one. Twice more. Three, two, one more time. Three, two, just the pulse. Palms together. Two, three, hold. Straighten your legs, toes to the front. Squat here, come up. Feet under your hips, hands on your knees. Round your back. Whew. Release. Again, round your back. Chin to your chest as you roll up. Ha. Grab some water. Get your towel or plural towels. I'm gonna sit on one and use one. Now I turn to the side, and that way, if you also turn to the side, when I cue, I'll say front, which will be the arm and leg that's closest to your camera. Ooh, that was a lot. I do that, well, just because it was fun. But also, this week my schedule is gonna be, this coming up week, I'm gonna be Sunday at nine, and then Wednesday, Friday at 11, because I gotta go see my mama, and there's no space in her little house for me to do this. I'll be taking a hike that one Monday morning out on the ranch near her house. All right, so grab your other towel and roll it up so that you can hold it shoulder distance apart. So you don't wanna have any slack in it. You want it to be tight as you're pulling out to the side. So you'll sit up tall, said me, midget. I'm sorry, you're not allowed to say midget anymore. Small, what do I call myself? I don't think I technically have a title, because I am five feet. I think I might be five one, not quite. All right, sit up tall right on top of your booty bones. Feet flat on the floor if you can. Knees bent. So in this tall position with your back, all of your back muscles are engaged. Those are your extensor muscles. It's what keeps you upright and from standing like this. So work them here. Then curl down, curl for two, and then back up. So you're going about halfway down on the curl. You're pulling your towel out to the side so you get to work on your lats. Every time I was telling you at the beginning to squeeze underneath your armpit, it should feel like this. Feel your lats engage. Curl down for two. As you curl, maybe your arms lift up and back to the top. So curl, lift, back, Again, so curl, lift, you engage your lats the whole time, curl. Yes, style tongue, I will tell my mother you said hi. She's actually doing quite well. She's up there, she goes, takes, I know she's not watching this workout, so I'm safe to talk about her. She does about 85 Zoom calls a day with her friends. They sing folk music together. Hey, whatever works. This time, keep your arms in front, curl down and hold here. You're gonna rotate towards me. And back to the center, over away from me, and center, to the front. Center, back. Maybe you extend your front leg as you go across. From here, it's rotate, extend, rotate. Pull the towel out to the side. Let's take a double pulse towards me. So pulse, right away, change sides. Pulse, again, pulse, Again, you have four more just like that. In four, and three, two, and come up. Come up, hold here. Give your arms a break if you want to for a moment. Here we go, arms up as you rotate. Rotate towards me, so the rotation happens in the curl. So curl, rotate, again. So you curl, rotate, if you want more resistance, you can bring the leg up as you curl. It's hard not to bend your elbows here. You gotta pull the towel out to the side and press it down. Again, so you have four, and three. Can you rotate a little further? Two, one more, and then forward fold. You set your towel down. Your knees can be bent or straight, up to you. You're trying to just get around in your back, actively releasing your back, actively releasing your shoulder blades so they kind of separate. Chin to your chest, 
Inhale. On your exhale, flex both feet. Try to bring your eyes up first, and then your shoulders, and then your body at the top. You'll tuck your hips. You can use your fingertips out to the side. If that helps, you curl down one bone at a time. When you're all the way down, bring your knees into your chest and just rock side to side. Just a little windmill stretch, knees rocking side to side. I like to extend my top leg. When I get over there, gives me a little extra stretch right here and up to the top of the glutes. Up to you. We all have a different flexibility level and a different shape to our spine. So whatever feels good to you, or not awful, I should say, hold it center. All right, hands to the side of the hips. Untuck your hips, belly button level to your pelvis bone right here. So 90 degrees at the hips, 90 degrees at the knees. So your calves are parallel to the floor. From here, extend your front leg out to the wall in front of you, resisting the weight of the leg with your core. 90 degrees in this leg, slowly change. Two, three, you're there on four, slowly change. Incoming leg stops here, two counts in one. Two, one, two again, one, two, single count here. You have three, two, hold and pulse. So the goal is to stop your leg right here at 90 degrees, belly button level to the pelvic bone, hold and pulse. If I mentioned you should be breathing, you should breathe. Again, you have three, two, hold and pulse. Again, in three, two, let's go twice more like that. We have three, two, hold and pulse. Once more, in three, two, hold here, both legs to chair, and then release just for a moment. You should feel your entire core relax there. We'll do it again in the setup. Untuck your hips. Belly button level to your pelvic bone. I said that like I was Russian. We'll do it again in the setup. Nine degrees at the hip and the knee. Front here, fingertips up to the ceiling. Inhale, take your arms up over your head. Circle your arms around. Squeeze under your armpits so you can roll your shoulder blades up off the floor. This might be enough for you. You might need to take one hand behind your head, but if you're feeling your neck, you want to squeeze underneath your armpits like we've been doing the whole class. Extend your front leg up, flex your foot. You can either plant your back leg on the floor or find some sort of angle for it to hang right there. Back arm goes across your front hip and give a little pulse towards me. Pulse towards me. Just breathe, be comfortable right here, pulse. So you're trying to get your back shoulder blade completely off the floor here. Four more, one, two, three, hold it here. Come back to the center, change legs. Front arm across your back hip. See how my front shoulder blade comes off the floor? You're gonna pulse. Pulse, you reach your fingertips out past your back hip. Pulse, pulse, breathe in and out for up. For up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Three, two, hold. Come back to the center. Both knees to the chest, or to chair. We're gonna, I want to bend your shoulders down. Cross your ankles, extend your toes to the ceiling, knees out to the side, so it looks like a little diamond. You've done this a lot lately. Fingertips behind your ears, squeeze under your armpits, lift your shoulder blades slightly off the floor. Crunch everything in together, then away from your center. So you'll exhale in, or let's, or you can inhale, you know it's all good. I think I'm gonna inhale in, so we'll inhale as you come in, exhale on the way out. Whew. I got all flustered because I got a text from my sister. In for two and out, again, in, two and out, again, in, two, out, again, inhale, for two, exhale, again, pull it in. We're going twice more from here, inhale, for two, exhale, take your time, inhale. For two, exhale, this time come in and hold, pulse. Try not to pull on your head, try to keep your elbows out to the side. We have eight, seven, six, final four, three, two, and release. Ooh, hands inside side of your hips. Feet right next to your hips, so you're down, but they're close to your booty. 
tuck your hips, press your feet down to find your bridge pose, the diagonal line from your shoulders through your hips to your knees. You can wiggle your toes. Maybe you take your arms underneath you, lace your fingers, and straighten your elbows. Push down through your feet. Have I mentioned you should still be breathing all the way in and out? Wiggle your toes. If your fingers are laced, unlace them. Lower your spine, one bone at a time. And then front knee comes in. Extend your leg up until you feel the stretch behind it. Shoulders down. Maybe your back leg finds a little spot down near the floor. It doesn't have to be straight. It can be bent the whole time. Your foot is flexed. Bend the knees, the chest for two. Drive it up. Again, flex your foot. Bend, cross. And again, flex. This time, hold your leg up. Take your front arm anywhere on the inside of your front leg. There, your back hip stays on the floor. You're just gonna push your leg out to the side until you feel the stretch on the inside of the leg. You're breathing in and out. Flexing both feet, pushing your heels out to the walls. You are not holding your breath. Then bend your front knee back to the center, front arm out to the side. Back arm goes across your knee, and your knee goes over to the back of the room, away from your screen. Continue to breathe all the way in and out. Four, three, two, and come back to the center. Both feet on the floor, back on the floor, then back knee to the chest. Extend it up until you feel the stretch behind the leg. Remember your front leg can find a spot for your flexibility. Flex your back foot. Bend the knee to the chest. Drive the heel up. Extend. Flex and bend. For two, drive it up. One more time. Flex and bend. For two, and hold it up. It doesn't have to be straight. You're just looking for a stretch behind the leg. Back arm anywhere on the inside of your back leg. Open out to the side, only far enough to feel the stretch here. You want to keep this hip on the floor. Flex both feet. You're pushing your heels out to the walls. That'll give you a little extra stretch. And breathing through it. And from here, bend your back knee to the center. Back arm goes out to the side. Front arm across your knee. Take your knee towards the knee. Watch out for your wine glass. Reach your fingertips out to the back wall. Again, breathing through this for four, three, two, and come back to the center. Both feet on the floor. Flip over onto your stomach. So your arms and legs are all the way out. Take your front arm, reach around, grab where your shoelaces would be or still are if you're wearing shoes. Pull your heel to your hip, your hip Presses to the floor, trying to open up your quadriceps. Trying to keep your knees straight out from your hip. And then release, chain side. Reach around, grab where your shoelaces would be. Heel to the hip, hip to the floor. Pressing your hip down, pulling your heel to your hip. If you can, keep this hand where it is and bring your front arm back around. Grab where your shoelaces would be. If you're not quite here, you can work on it. Try to grab your heels, maybe your pants. If your feet are in your hands already, push your feet into your hands and try to lift your knees. Then maybe lift your chest. As long as you're still breathing here with me for four, three, two, and release. Hands to the side of your chest. Press your chest up. Take your hips back to your heels. Child's pose here. Pressing your chest through your shoulders. Then round up to a tabletop and tuck your toes. Round your back. Chin to the chest. Press your hands and feet down to lift your tailbone up and walk your hands and feet together. Unroll in four, three, two. This part is done. Okay, so I'll post my schedule, but it's Sunday at 9, Wednesday, Friday at 11. Thank you so much for working out with me. And thank you if you're able to drop a donation, that's awesome. So I'm gonna do the after party now, so I'm gonna sign off. Five minutes, we'll come back, keep your towel, and grab a set of dumbbells. All right, thanks you guys.